I have a question. Yes. So when you check a girlfriend's email and you you find this everything, is the only time I've ever done it. So okay. I don't have a lot of experience. Where is it? This yeah. is my question. Yeah. So this is the first and only time you had done something like that. And and her and, MySpace. And, and you found stuff like so yeah. conclusive. God, it was so fucking yeah. How can you not check every woman's email after that if you have even a slight suspicion, knowing that the first time you did it, you found just a a, a gold mine? Yeah. After that, I still have some trust for. I, I've seen horrible female behavior, I, probably male too, but I don't notice that because I'm, I'm not into men, you right. know. But like, I've seen women at the comedy store go to the bathroom, fuck a guy, a random comic, and then come mm -hmm. back and sit with their boyfriends. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've yeah. Seen that and then be all cuddly, right, and the boyfriend's right. like, "Oh, you're great," and having yeah. no idea, like they just got fucked. Right, right, right. On the middle of a date, Let's stop. by a dude If you just ever met. fucking do that, I know you. I trust you. You'll never do it. But when you know but they're capable, I, I, of it, I know. But like, I know she's wow. not yeah. even capable. But I'm gonna say it. I will cry for a year. Straight. I will cry for the. Okay. I'm with you there. I used to live in Vegas, and I have oh, yeah. some seedy friends <coughs> who would fuck a chick in the parking lot, and then s meet up with their with their wives at mm -hmm. the poker table. And I've seen this like time and time again. So I have that same yeah. feeling. So you know, I'm somebody who's like a naturally suspicious person, and I have checked, let's say, a boyfriend or a significant other's like email in the past, and I've found stuff before. So like that carries over into every single relationship. So to practice that kind of restraint and say, even when you have a little bit of a suspicion over someone and saying, no, that's unhealthy, I shouldn't fall into that pit, I shouldn't check, is really, really hard. Yeah, so, yeah, it is. Well, after that, I sort of went through this thing where I, I met a, I met a girl before we broke up. I met a girl uh, uh, on a commercial shoot. Mm. She was, um, I think, wardrobe. The wardrobe people and the hair and makeup people are the coolest people on commercial shoots. Yeah. They got style. They're just, they're just chill, cool yeah. people. And so I'd usually hang out with them. I wouldn't hang out with like directors and stuff. I, I don't know. I just wasn't that guy. <laughs> um, Anyway, this girl was like, cool. We started talking about like uh, Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. She was a fan, so am I. And he was, she was like, do you know what? He's bringing some movie from 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 uh, Japan over here. And it's like, I was like, oh, really? It's good. We start talking about it. Like, we should go. Like, yeah, for sure. Just friendly. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we kept talking, kept talking. It was like five hours of just talking all the time. And then it started getting flirtier. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I had that girlfriend, I had Natasha at the time. And then it was like, and then I left. I was like, okay. And then I realized, oh, this is going to be a date. Right. Before it was just like, all right, two people, but now it's gonna be. A and I had to call her, I'm like, hey, I don't think I can go with you because I got this girlfriend. She's like, well, we could go just as friends. And I was like, yeah, but I feel like we sort of just went past that already. Yeah, that's I don't think we can. Line, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I find out that you know, she wasn't like cheating, but she was unfaithful, let's say. Mm. And then it was like, well, I had a, I had a chance with like this girl that I hit it off with that I didn't go for yeah. over a relationship that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. that was ending. Yeah. I'm like, that would have been really nice. So then I just started going like, I'm done with monogamy. Mm. I'm just like, hey, you fuck whoever you want. I'm going to fuck whoever I want. I'm just not going to get jealous with you. So I... my next girlfriend, it was like, or two girls later, was like, uh, just open. And so we were like, let, I'll let you know if I got a date. Let me know. Aaron? Oh. What? Was it Aaron? No, no. That oh, was yeah. way later. Uh, Allie. Allie, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got married in the belly room. Yeah, I, yeah. I also had people like, if Bobby comes... So it was not allowed. I had people pacing that door. Like, you can't come to my wedding. But like, uh, and so then it's just like, you know, if you're on a date, I'll assume if you don't come home, you're fucking, it's fine. Yeah. So there's no reason to be jealous because we'll always tell each other. Right. So it's like, and she would tell me plenty of times. So there's no reason to Were hide Were you living anything. together? Yeah, we lived together. Mm. We had a, two rules. We had no, no doing it in the dorm, in the, in the, not dorm, in the fucking apartment. Yeah. And then no Asians. <laughs> um, uh, and then did that last that kind of relationship yeah longer than any relationship I've ever had mm. Mm. four years and then now you have nobody I have lots mm. that's right have oh. you guys heard of is it I don't know if it's right, called right. sologamy is it sologamy sologamy what yeah is that? where it's like you're basically um, you're not you don't stop dating people but you just sort of marry yourself you marry to the idea of being like a forever bachelor oh yeah I, I, I'm not looking for like I'm just not looking for that anymore. I, I, sometimes I am, but then it, it would mean like, nah, maybe I just haven't met anybody that's like but in a while. That's Al like, Madrigal and these guys, Steve Byrne, yeah, you know, Brenna Zizzi, their date. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry again. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but you see these relationship marriages yeah, yeah. and that seem to be working. Mm -hmm. You don't think that that's a part of your future? Oh, I pity them. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I really do. 
with their kids and everything. With the kids. Also, I see them in their moments. They're, uh, they're public. Right. It's like everything's great, but I see them in the moments. Me too. Remember Reap? Right. Everything was going great. Everything's going, no, we love each other. And then they filed for divorce like three days after they That's said crazy. everything was great. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you were living in hell mm. and had this public like smile. Mm. Yeah. So I, what I do is I try to live my life to make those people jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. For real. I know I'm not going to sit around playing Xbox all day doing nothing. It's like, if I'm single, guess what? I'm going to go to Indonesia for a month. <laughs> Shit that you would love to do, but you can't because you have this fucking kid. Right. You know? I'm going to fuck nines. I'm going to go out there and fucking do shit. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, see wow. the world. Wow. I'm gonna live my life. Like, I'm gonna he's getting baited in. He's no, getting baited no, in. No, 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 no. Motherfucker. I love you, baby. I love you. Baby. <laughs> wow. I love tell you. me, baby. I tell me more. Tell I moved to New York in the drop of a hat because I'm like, you know what? You I'm gonna live in New York that. for a little while. Yeah, you did do that. Mm. I'm gonna do. You fun are shit. so fucking free now, bro. Free man. I'm yeah. telling you, you're you're free too, and you can work with them, but don't work for them. Right, ladies and gentlemen. God darn it. <laughs> what a fucking night God darn, darn it next time I come back we'll do this again we have to do it again do it now, we do a question What's a, it's called um, unhelpful advice